So here goes. Look at this amazing outdoors. It is quite beautiful today, the path. I've just come from my house and I'm heading this way toward the office. And it's kind of interesting. I am, yeah, doing a, yeah, who knows? I am committed to exercise. Have you ever been committed to something and then everything gets in the way to stop you from doing it? And even me walking and still holding the camera is a little agitating for you, I'm sure, because it's bumping up and down. Well, today I decided yesterday I decided because it's funny how you make the decision the day before which means you have to follow through so I left the car at the office knowing I would walk to the office now I hadn't intended to get on the phone and to work for hours this morning chatting with clients and helping them move forward and get property sold and yet that's what happened so I was working just from the confines of my amazing office in my house and then I thought well I'll walk I'll get going Ken did say he could come back and pick me up and drive me and I thought that's kind of copping out because I had made the decision yesterday to walk to the office so that's not that unusual I do that from time to time because I know I have to stay fit and organized and in shape because I feel better when I do don't you don't you find that when you do those things and even make the decision the day before it actually makes all the difference because it's actually already decided for you you'll need to make the decision once whereas I brought the car home I could have decided yesterday but then I would have had to redecide today Whereas this way, I really didn't because it would have been too awkward for Ken to come get me. So that would have been a very poor decision. So here I go, and I suspect you're doing the same thing. Making the decision once, you're finding much easier. And so do I. So let's keep making the decision once when we're well fed, well rested, and in a good headspace, we make way better decisions, don't you find? I know I certainly find that, and I've heard from so many of my friends that they find it easier too. And so here I start walking and as you can see I don't have lipstick on so I don't really love doing video without lipstick because my lips are dry and then I start wanting to rub them and they're skinny and funny anyway so it just makes it all the worse. However, I thought since all my belongings are in this bag and I've become a bag lady as I'm walking to the office, took my jacket off that's my other rule I don't do video generally speaking without wearing a jacket and yet it was much too hot so I started down this path shifting the bag from shoulder to shoulder which made me think about what things do you have to do what things do we do as people to continue to move forward when we've made a decision and now it might be a little bit harder than we thought so how do we have to shift so for me I got to shift the bag yeah, this is harder to do than I thought, shifting and talking to you at the same time so that my shoulders aren't completely wrecked by the time I get to the office. Then the next shift I had to make was, well, walking isn't really the exercise I'm committed to. The exercise I'm committed to is uh, lunges. Lunges and planks and... Uh, I don't even know what to call them when you do the bicycle thing and then stepping to continue to improve the health of this crazy ankle I don't even know if I can show it to you which is still in pretty nasty shape from the fall from last year worse this side probably anyway it still hurts most of the time so continue to do exercises for it so I thought well walking's kind of a cop-out because that's not my exercise routine so I thought okay I will do lunges as I walk. So I don't know if I can show it to you, probably not. So I was doing my lunges with my bag over my shoulder, walking down this path, hoping that nobody would see me and not really thinking about it. And because I have my earbuds in, made this choice of wearing the earbuds so I can make calls as I walk. And before I knew it, there were not only mosquitoes biting me all over the place, which they continue to do, there were people watching me do squats, not squats, lunges as I walk down the path. So sometimes doing the things that I know I'm to do actually causes me to look really foolish and really silly. So maybe I'm going to ask you, when in your life do you find that the very thing you know you're to do actually causes you to look silly? And yet it's still the right thing to do. So comment, share, and tell us, A, what is it you know you need to do and how can you make the decision once rather than having to make that decision multiple times I know one of the things that gets me 
I say I'm not going to eat any more chocolate. And if I bring it into the house, buy it at the store because I'm really hungry that day and it looks really good, and I bring it in, now I have to make the decision every time I go into the cupboard. Versus if I just left it in the store, I only had to make the decision once. So what thing are you going to make a decision about once so that it can carry you through and it's just a natural conclusion to the decision you've made. These bugs are bad. And then once you've made that decision, what shifts will you have to make, like shifting the weight of this bag, shifting that I don't wear a jacket because it's way too hot out here today while I'm walking and doing lunges. So also shifting in terms of where I'm doing it. And, the fa and then the third really is, what are you willing to take on to even look potentially a little bit silly when you are following through on the thing you've committed to? So I ask you to share those three things specifically how you have moved through them so that I can learn and so that we can continue to grow together and move forward together. Thanks for doing that. I absolutely love that we are on this life journey together. Thanks for that. Talk to you soon.